All right, now we got to line up that right hand in the beginning and ending sections with the left hand in full context. Not as easy as it sounds. I'm sure many of you have tried to do this already and have stopped at bar lines and big figure pattern changes and thinking, oh, what do I do? Or maybe it was so minuscule that you're really not realizing it yet, but I have something that will help that we've used in other classes. And I don't can't remember if we used it in one of these videos, but anyway, uh, this is called the 312 method. We practice in groups of three beats at a time, but we don't practice to the measure. Very often we use that bar line as a crutch or as a stopping point because it's a big line and that's how our brains think. And our brains don't really want to think much past two or four beats at a time. Three beats, ugh. you know, so it, it's just like system shutdown for a while until we can figure out what to do. So physically, we have to train our muscles to work over the bar line. Mentally, that can be a mind game sometimes. We make you a little cuckoo here. So, three, one, two. Now, obviously, you got to start with beats one and two at the beginning. So, we do this. But then we pause and we hold all the notes down. Set up beats three and one and two of the next measure without stopping. You might have to do this hand separate for a while. Let's do left hand. Three, one, two. That'll be easy. Right hand. Three, one, two. So, three, one, two. Okay, that was very slow. So, we'll do it again. Resting and preparing. Three, It'll be very easy to go on after beat two. Try not to. Okay, there's a discipline in knowing when to stop as well. Um, it, th this is not easy. This will mess with your mind, and you should only do a little bit of it at a time so that you just don't get too frustrated. And always stop to breathe. Okay, that's important. We're not about slave driving here. Okay, this is not punishment. The, it is essential, but it's not punishment. It shouldn't be torturous. It should be rewarding. the blocked chords transitions we try to speed up the groups eventually to get it faster than the original tempo so. three, one, two. rest prepare three one two rest prepare three one two. oh and i screwed that up so i can do it again and i'll do it again just to be sure three times in succession Three times in a row in succession is a good number to aim for. And then go back and try it again later. It might not happen again. You have to keep working it up. Okay. So, uh, three, one, two. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. That'll be a tough one. Play some player. get the idea from there you can start working it up slow
think there's three there. All right. So, and, and that might be too fast for you right now. So go slower. And some spots might be real easy. Some spots might not be. The spots that are not very easy are the spots that you go back to and keep working this method with. And then eventually you try the whole thing until it's one tempo. You can work it up from there. I think the tempo for this is a little faster than 60. Normally I let you go a little slower, but it, this, this is very slow. I, I, I'll have to look it up, but I believe that it's 60 to the measure. Uh, we don't have to go that fast, but... So forth. Another method that I like to use when I'm teaching in person is playing one hand for the student while the student plays the other. So we are in a pandemic and we should be social distancing. So that that I, I really shouldn't be doing that. And if you are doing that with someone else, it should be someone that you trust is not ill or going to get you ill. But it, the alternative to that is you record yourself playing one hand fluidly and then you play along with that recording with the other hand and then vice versa. And this helps with the muscle memory. It also helps you line everything up without having to worry about playing everything at once. And it, it's a bit of a confidence booster too. So I, I would recommend that. Okay. I'm going to play you my rendition of this, and then I'll send you off to practice. And there you have it. Practice.